people who we see as leaders think alike? Do they have the same perspective, the same approach to life? And what can we learn from that? A new podcast is highlighting leaders in the region. We see who's getting ahead in business, and we see how a group is helping Warren tackle its food desert problem. This is The Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. Since it is Monday and Mondays are usually a bummer, I thought we'd start off with some positive stories of accomplishment to help wake us up and power us through the week. We'll start off with the story of Kelly Zicardi, a YSU graduate playing a big role in the launch of the 2021 Acura TLX. Zicardi is the new model project leader at Honda's Marysville Auto Plant, where the 2021 TLX is being manufactured. It is the first full model change Zicardi has been a part of since she started 13 years ago. The new TLX, which was designed by a team in Ohio and California, will arrive at dealerships in late September. Now let's take a look at who's climbing the career ladder in our Getting Ahead series sponsored by DeSalvo Construction. Jason DeBronze has been promoted by First National Bank to Director of Corporate Resilience and Physical Security. He'll be responsible for developing strategies to help prevent business disruption. Starting today, Terry Armstrong is the new treasurer for the Boardman School District. Armstrong has 14 years of education experience, most recently as the treasurer for the Newton Falls School District. And Amy Laurel Fluker, a professor of history at YSU, has published two articles on the Civil War. The articles can be found in the Missouri Historical Review and the New England Quarterly. A new podcast series looks to identify the qualities that make a person an effective leader and help promote those qualities to lift up the community. The Power of Care Leadership Series is a new video and podcast created by Larry Moliterno, CEO of Meridian Healthcare. In the podcast, Moliterno speaks with local leaders, asking them eight questions in eight minutes. One of the things I've always been fascinated by is just learning about leadership and traits of leaders. And I think as a community, it's really important that we continue to develop strong leaders, uh, people who aren't afraid to take on challenges, uh, people who look at obstacles as opportunities. And I think anything we can do to identify who those leaders are in our community and support them is important. If the reception is good, Moliterno says he plans to expand the format. You can view the videos or nominate someone for the podcast at powerofcareleadership.com. And we wrap up today with another example of leadership, this time from Matt Martin, the executive director of the Trumbull Neighborhood Partnership. In the Thought Leaders video, Martin sits down with Stacia Ertis to discuss the lack of good food options in the city of Warren and how TNP is working to address it. Supporting gardens is something that we've done over the years, about two dozen different gardens that we help provide technical assistance to, help start them up maybe after a demolition on a piece of vacant land. But we've also been running the Warren Farmers Market for the past seven years. Um, that's been a highly successful tool. You can hear more in the Thought Leaders interview at businessjournaldaily.com. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click the little bell for notifications. Leave us a comment in the comment section. And as always, if you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. You've settled here. What do you like about the Warren area? This is home now. Um, when I got here, I'll admit I didn't think I was gonna stay long term. Um, my oldest son who's 19, uh, his mom is from this area and I just wanted to be a little closer for a few years. Uh, but you know, you know what happens when you make plans and <laughs> life laughs at you. Seven Seventeen Credit Union is paying it forward because we care about our business community. We are offering six months of free ACH and domestic wire services through small business payments when you open a free e-business checking account. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, we are here for your business.